Welcome everyone. Today we're talking real estate and it's been a rough couple of years for people because the rates have been going up and up and up in the middle of a post pandemic world. But now for the first time in years, we are anticipating rate drops. Now, we know this is going to have a big ripple effect in our real estate market. Uh, so we brought on an expert today to make some sense out of all of this with us. Melissa Shaw is with Lewis Realtors. She's been in the business 21 years, so she's seen a lot of ups and downs in the market. Uh, but Melissa, let's talk about this anticipated rate cut. We, we've been kind of getting some signals. One might happen in May and then maybe a few more as the year goes on. So high level. What should we anticipate the effects on our local market here in Oregon and Southwest Washington? I think there's three things you can really anticipate happening. And those are more competition in being able to obtain a home, um, potentially higher sales prices. So what you're paying for a home and even potentially as a buyer, less negotiation power taken out, taken away. Interesting. So I know that that's a little, it's hard for people to wrap their mind around it because they think, oh, the rates are lower. I'm going to get a better deal or I'm going to get more house for my money. But what you're right. saying is that buyers need to actually consider that, that, that the, the prices will reflect the lower rates. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. If, if I was in their shoes and I had the ability to purchase right now, um, you can always refinance later. We know that the rates, are, historically, they're just going to come down, but you can't always pay less for a house later. Right. And we have seen we have seen housing, the housing prices come down a bit, correct? Because of the higher rate? Minimally. You know, it's it's really just fluctuating, you know, maybe a percent or a percent and a half, but really it's it's a stabilized price. It's stabilized, right. And, so it's, and it's actually increased year over year. We're still at almost 6% increase. Mm -hmm. Right. So it still is always a great, it's great investment, right? To get into the real estate market and start building that wealth. Yeah, um, when you can do it. Absolutely. Right. So let's talk about sellers then. So we understand the buyer perspective, but when we're talking about sellers, if I'm going to list my house um, and I'm considering it now or waiting for those anticipated rate drops, give us an idea of the kinds of things we should be thinking about when we're deciding timing here. Yeah, you know, it really comes down to your unique situation that you're in. But if you're looking at wanting to buy and sell at the same time, now would be the, a better time um, because you're going to be less competition on your home to purchase at this time. Um, the, the sellers on your home to purchase might be less inclined to accept a contingency if the, the market picks up in that in that area. Um, but if you wait, you know, you could potentially get more more money for your home and be on the market less days. Okay. Yeah. And that, you know, you're really illustrating why it's so important to have a real estate agent mm -hmm. on your side, right? To work right. these details with you, because um, many times when we hear the headlines or we see the headlines, the the result is actually, it, it, it doesn't make sense to those of us who aren't in the industry each day. Right. Right. I see it real time boots on the ground every day. Right. Exactly. All right. Well, Melissa, thank you so much much for coming in today to kind of um, pull back the curtain and explain to us how these anticipated rate drops might affect buyers and sellers. Thank you for being with us today. You're so welcome. I'd love to be back.